this is uh, this is the experiment I was talking about. This is one of them. This is probably the most successful one we've done out here. We've done three of them, uh, and there are four treatments out here. I'm actually standing on top of the most aggressive treatment. This is where we. Uh, these are about 20 foot long. It kind of runs out to here. It's eight foot wide. They're not marked off. And then there's another eight foot strip that runs through here. There's a third eight foot strip here. And then the fourth one is right here. Again, it's ending right about here. And then it's replicated three more times. That's what the rest is. It's the same treatment. Which of these has the best grass in it? Yeah, on this end here. Yeah, yeah. This look very good here. This is the plot where we didn't do anything. I mean, we, we seeded it, we fertilized it, but we, we didn't do anything to improve the soil other than add some fertilizer, put some seed down. Uh, we absolutely did nothing here. Uh, and you can see the quality of the grass. It, it actually looks pretty good compared to what it did last August in the heat of the summer. This looks even worse. And so you're actually looking at it uh, probably the best it's gonna look for the rest of the year. The, the reason these grasses here these plots are so good is because we took the time to till. And so this strip is tillage without or any organic matter. And you can just see the big difference it made between not tilling it, leaving it hard and compacted versus tilling it and then planting into that uh, made all the world a difference. You can see this is a little lighter green color, whereas over here, the color is getting a little better and that's the contribution of the organic matter holding on to nutrients and making the grass grow better. And the only difference between this eight foot wide strip and this one is how much organic matter we put into it. We put in um, uh, enough to try to get the organic matter up to about 3% by weight. And this one, I believe the target was trying to get to about 5% uh, organic matter by weight. Very, very, mm. very poor soil. You can see it. I mean, this is deep as I can get yeah, this low growing is... in the ground. I got maybe three inches. Oh, and this is perfect comparison. You can Look. just see the color of that soil, how tan and light colored it is. Mm. See, so you have the, the very clear line where the plants are trying to add organics. <laughs> and then they're trying so hard to put <laughs> roots in there. And then you can compare, this is his treated plot at the very beginning, the most organic, most mm. treated. Look how <laughs> his is just breaking. There's nothing there. And then even when you go in the line between the organic and that yeeky parent material. You have some holding together with the roots, talking about the soil holding together in a healthy living way. You have some of it holding together with some roots, but it pretty quickly diminishes. Whereas on this one, if I were to try to break this one up, look at oh, it's, look at it's that, got yeah. so much root activity going all the way down oh, that's here. Amazing. So this oh, is all the organic. Oh, oh, that, oh, that, okay. This is the top. Oh, this is all that's in this. Yes. Yeah, this okay. is just what was here when we, you know, yeah, that plot, we okay. literally, all we did is kind of level it out, yeah. smooth it out. So there that's was a the, thin layer of organics on, on this site. Yeah, a lot of people think grasses, lawn grasses are shallow rooted. Mm -mm. It's because of what they're growing in, yeah, right. why right, they're right, shallow. Right. When they grow in better soil, they, they're be, <laughs> there are uh, some grasses that we grow that that if the soil is good enough, they'll grow three feet deep root system. Wow. But the soil has to be really good. Mm -hmm.